What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona, back with another Is It Worth It video, trying to get you better prepared for your next trip to Barcelona and help you decide what you want to do while you're here. This time we're at Antoni Gaudí's Bella Squad, one of his lesser known houses, but nonetheless impressive. So let's check it out. The Torre Bella Squad was worked on by Gaudi between 1900 and 1909. It might be the least known Gaudi building in the city, but if you make it there for a visit, you won't be disappointed. You won't find the lines that you'll find outside of the Casa Batio or the Casa Mila, but you will find all the things we look for in a Gaudi build house. Connection to nature, creative use of materials, a tribute to Catalonia, and so much more. And right behind me, I have one of the coolest things that I've seen in a Gaudi house. Let me know if you know what it is. The Bella Squad is outside the city center, much closer to Tibidabo than Plaza Catalunya, so getting there might require a transfer, but it's worth it for what you'll see. And it looks like I have to add a new spot to the list of some of the best views in Barcelona. I mean, just look at that. The kings of Aragon really knew what they were doing back in the Middle Ages. After all, the name Bella Squad refers to the beautiful views you'll have from above. Before Gaudí recreated the house as a summer home for his friends, this place was originally used as a hunting lodge for the kings of Aragón. Later it would become a place of refuge, another play on the translation from Catalan. Throughout the grounds, Gaudí pays tribute to tradition, leaving symbols to the Catalan past and even topping everything off with a Catalan flag. He respects the history of the site and the original castle built in 1409 for King Martin while imposing his will 500 years later. What we are left with is a mixture of Gothic and modernist, unseen in any other Gaudi house. One of the things you have to see in the surrounding gardens are the curved benches that play with some interesting acoustics. Gaudi designed it so that from each end you could maintain a conversation. But does it work? Have you subscribed to Patrick Guide Barcelona and clicked the bell? Not yet, but I will right now. Make sure to check out the facade and all of the work put into it. Local materials are used with some of the traditional modernist decor. The arrangement of the stone mixed with the iron and the mosaic patterns show us the combination of Gothic and modernism that Gaudi planned. Then head inside to really see that mix, as well as a glimpse into the Gaudi that we're more familiar with. You can visit both the smoking and the music rooms upstairs. The music room was left unfinished, but allows you to enter into the mind of the architect and see his creative use of materials and arches. You'll also want to test out the acoustics here before heading up to the roof. Like I said before, it's the view out over the city that gave Bella Squad its name and makes for a great spot to visit.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video on Vega Squad. We saw a different style from Gaudi and some amazing views. I'll leave all of the information if you're interested in coming over here in the description below. But remember, you can always subscribe to the channel to get better ideas of what to do in Barcelona, get better prepared for your next trip, or just keep you connected after you leave. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.